So I'm over the direct supervision and operator responsible charge of both of our water treatment facilities here at PwC and also uh, the facility maintenance group that provides maintenance and support for the water treatment facilities, water reclamation facilities, and all of our distribution and collection system assets. I was awarded the NCWOA Educator of the Year Award. It's given to instructors, um, all volunteer instructors for NCWOA. But it's, it's used to recognize instructors that um, give back to the profession by teaching at various seminars and certification schools. NCWA is the North Carolina Water Operators Association. What they do is it's a group of water operators, uh, managers, facility staff here in North Carolina, and it's, uh, uh, it was originally founded to help promote certification and training of all the operators in North Carolina. I started helping out in schools back in 2003. They, um, my old utility that I was at, they were running short of instructors. And since it was my, my town was the host of it, you know, I kind of felt obligated to help out. And once I started helping out and seeing the benefit and what I could give back to everybody else, I got kind of hooked on, you know, helping and being part of it. Well, anytime there's an event with a lot of operators, um, about 90 odd percent of them will come up to you and say, hey, I remember you from that class. You really helped me out in that class and stuff. And, you know, that I really like that, you know, where, you know, you've helped somebody um, get into the profession and, or advance their career through taking some of the higher certification levels. When you have award-winning operators, that shows that not only are they doing the best they can for our customers, they're, doing, they're, they're pretty much the best in the state. And, you know, PwC has some of the most awarded operators of any other utility in, in the state, and it just shows the caliber of employees we have and the dedication they are to doing their jobs. It's nice to be recognized, but it's not one that I'm willing to, you know, kind of sleep on. I want to try to keep improving and be the best instructor I can and, and help the next generation of operators, you know, learn about these advanced treatment processes we're getting ready to undertake and, and become the next group safeguarding our water supplies. Some of my daily activities include going around and checking and make sure all of our pH meters are calibrated and our online equipment is calibrated. Um, I go over our paperwork, just check and see how much chemicals we're using. I look and see if maybe we can reduce, reduce some of our chemicals like ferric, maybe we can cut back a little bit. I help the operators out um, in any way I can. I actually pulled some shifts for the last couple months, so I helped out a little bit there. Um, so any, yeah, I'm just here to help the operators and try to help provide the best possible drinking water that we can provide. Recently I received the North Carolina uh, Outstanding Operator of the Year Award uh, by North Carolina Work, Water Works Association. And that award is just given to one operator per year um, in the state of North Carolina. So I'm very pri privileged and humbled to, to receive that award. It, for me, it's not just my award, it's all of our awards. It's because I can't do it without the other operators and management and supervision and stuff like that. So in North Carolina, we have three surface levels of certification for operators. Um, the entry level, if you want to call it that, is the C surface. Um, then we have a mid level being the B surface and the top level being the A surface. With the C surface certification to enable to obtain that, you need to have at least six months um, experience at working at a water treatment plant, going to a C surface school and passing a C surface examination. B surface, you have to have an extra year on top of that to obtain that certification and you also have to go to a B surface school. A surface, you're adding one more year onto that. So now you got two, two and a half years minimum experience and you attend an A surface school um, to, and also have to pass that exam. So there's three different exams, C, B, and A. And to become an A operator, you have to accomplish all those with the exception if you have a four-year degree, you can skip the C-surface and start with a B. Yeah, I believe that uh, winning awards translates into, you know, great service here at PwC, outstanding service. We, we've had several operators over the years that have won these awards, and I think it's just a, a great accomplishment for PwC and all the guys here and gals. I won this award, but I feel like we all won the award. We have great people here that work at both water plants. We got a lot of very experienced people and we got some very new people that, and we're just happy that we can pass our knowledge on to them and keep this great tradition 
of award-winning service going here at PwC? My job is to operate and maintain the plant to produce water as safely and as efficiently as possible. I received the Sea Surface Operator of the Year Award from the state of North Carolina. I'm pretty proud of winning this award. I've never really gotten an award like this before and it feels really good to be shown appreciation across the state for something like this this early on in my career. Working in PwC is its like being a part of a really good team. Everybody's there for one another and helps each other along the way. I couldn't have gotten this award without support of people around me. Most people go their entire career as an operator without receiving one of these awards, so I would just like to have more of them. By me doing the best I can at work every day, it verifies to me that I am providing the best service I can to the people of Fayetteville and PwC as a company.